it is very late <laughs> well i say very late but i've been up since like six and it's 11 24 you can't even see that late at night but i just wanted to come and make this video for you guys very quickly um because i just went and got my hair washed and um there you go you can see it i'll just show you guys what my hair looks like freshly washed so you can see it's really it's really starting to grow you know it's, well it's been great but you can really see that length um and i've got it on a side part today you see, my hair is still red as we can clearly see i got my last treatment in august so as you can see my hair still is nice and fresh so today at the hairdressers i went and got a moisture treatment and got my hair washed obviously and then got it blow dried and then got it straightened remember with your keratin treatment that if you want your hair to go back straight once you've allowed water onto it you need to put heat on it so he blow dries it and then he straightens it in to seal the whatever i got the actual terms but whatever and then voila back to straight hair first i'd like to stop and say guys on this series that i've been doing on keratin treatment on natural hair on fussy natural hair we are at 17,000 views for the whole series and i'm really really excited that it's a big triumph for my channel but guys this is what you need to help me out yeah please subscribe because the views although they're great and i'm sharing this journey with you it would be nice if um people would subscribe and that would really help the channel so please 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 subscribe we are not we are on our road to a thousand subscribers please make sure you subscribe please make sure you subscribe please 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 so today's video i'm going to be answering all the questions that you guys have left in the comments for me and so these are going to be like the most asked questions um so let's go okay so the first question i get which i have actually had a few times is i've asked, been asked how does it look after you wash your hair um and that guys you can see in my i have a wash day vlog and hair update which i will link down in the description below and that shows you what my hair looks like but also put up a picture probably over here it just reverts back to its 4c style state so okay so what keratin treatment did you use so when i started my journey i was using the oroski keratin treatment and i believe that's what i spoke about in the first video however this year my hairstylist made a switch to the avalon texture release which is another way to refer to a keratin treatment actually somebody else in the comments let me know that they have found a lot of stylists have changed from oroski to avalon i've not specifically asked my hairstylist why he made that change I kind of just went with it um which probably wasn't great but as in like just trusting people without asking any questions but i just um i trust him so i didn't ask any questions however what i did check was to make sure that the avalon didn't have any form of delahide like i say that word wrong all the time all the time make sure it didn't have that in it which some keratin treatments do have that that ingredient in and that's what usually causes the hair loss so anyway we've gone from oroski to avalon have i seen any differences nothing major to like say i felt this difference or that difference to me it's it's basically done the same thing somebody said so this is a relaxer i thought it just helped hydrate hair um and i wrote <laughs> which is true yes it does help to hydrate your hair but it also gives you protein and strength in it it isn't a relaxer that's what i'll say again it is not a relaxer okay a relaxer also known as a perm short for permanent <laughs> that's not shade at you that's just being clear <laughs> um makes changes the texture of your hair permanently where this doesn't do that it does it temporarily so as soon as i put water on my hair as soon as i put water on the straight hair it will go back to its 4c natural hair versus when you have permed hair when you wash it the bits that have the perm on it will stay straight and the only way to get rid of those straight bits is to cut it off whereas the only way to as a way to get rid of this straight keratin hair is just to wash it so there's a difference in there and um i break down it in better detail and i'll probably put my reply somewhere on the screen but that's basically that 
Okay, another question I got was what heat protection do I use? So, um, when I'm at home, I use the Keracare Silken Seal Liquid Sheen. Hope you're getting that right. Um, but when I go to get my hair washed, my hair stylist uses another hair protector. It's again still in the Care Care brand. I just can't remember the name of it. And if I remember the name, if I when I look it up, or I'll just ask him. I'll put it somewhere on the screen. Okay, somebody's asked, do I know what my hair porosity is? I haven't ever done the hair porosity test. I have wanted to, it just never have. I mean, for when I've been looking into hair porosity and what think my vibe is, like what my hair is, I think I have high porosity hair, or maybe I have low porosity hair. Like when I read the like how you know, like the um oh my gosh, this is blank to me, this is probably what it is like doing a video at midnight, it's probably not good for thinking. When I read all the symptoms, I think <laughs> I can have high porosity and I can have low porosity. Can you mix it? Is there a such thing as a mix? Okay, next question I got was who is my hairdresser? Now in my videos you had me refer you've heard me refer to my hairdresser. Say as hairdresser, I'll be like my hairdresser, my hairdresser, and I don't specifically say who he is. And that's not because I don't want to put anybody on. I just um I don't know, like I'm just careful, I don't know if he wants me to put it's, it's weird because obviously he would want referrals do you know what I mean but at the same time it's like what well, does he want to be does he want to be mentioned in my YouTube videos but anyway my <laughs> but I'll just say it now so everybody has it clearly my hairstylist his name is Hairboy London and you can find him on Instagram and examples of his work you might even see me on the page um, and he's actually a keratin treatment hair specialist so um yeah that's my hairdresser. Okay, someone asked me when was the last time I did the treatment. As of this video, the last time I did the treatment was August, and that was two months ago. Okay, one question I got was, um, what do you do once it reverts? Okay, so when my hair reverts, and that could be through washing my hair, but sometimes I've also found, guys, if I've gone to the gym, um, I sweat a lot in my head, and that sweat, obviously, a lot of perspiration, is water so what will happen is not my whole head will revert but my roots will revert and I guess it depends on how you are styling your hair so to really answer that question so what I mean is if I'm wearing my hair out and I want it to be straight if my hair reverts if it's just the roots then I may like you know get the blow dryer and just blow dry the roots um, if my when my whole hair reverts like once I've washed it it depends on if I want to wear my hair in a fro or straight. If I want to wear it in a fro, I just leave it. If I want to wear it straight, then I blow dry it. And then sometimes maybe I'll blow dry it and give it a straighten. But I also, as you guys know, wear protective styling. So I won't wear my hair out all the time. So, oh, actually, I don't know what relevance that has to the question, that last bit. But, you know, so people are saying that they love that I call my wig Betty Lou. But I've been calling her Betty Lou for a long time <laughs> okay so the question I've been asked is how much do I pay so for my treatment I actually pay I'm trying to remember the exact price sorry you know when you just are like an automation with things like services you don't really think about it okay so the I pay a uh, sorry I was just looking I pay 140 pounds for my keratin treatment and that's how much my stylist charges but he basically charges on a range so his keratin treatments will go from 140 pounds to 180 pounds and that is depending on hair length okay so if your hair's a bit of a shorter hair length like mine's and shorter it's 140 but when you start getting i think he has the hair specifications but i guess when you start getting like down hair it jumps from like 140 to 160 to 180 that kind of vibe okay um i know a lot of people have said that they've seen prices 185 to 200 pounds i personally feel like my hairstylist gives it as a very reasonable price because usually they go from 185 to 200 pound plus but he gives it at a really really reasonable price so that's how much i pay the question is how many treatments have you had so far so i've had six treatments all together but they haven't been six back to back so as i explained in my first video i first tried a keratin treatment Four years ago so I tried that back in 
2018. Sorry, you're watching me do quick maths, which is horrible. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so I tried it back in 2018, but I only tried it once as like a summer thing. I just wanted to see how it was. It was okay. Then I tried it again in 2019. Yeah, I tried it once again in 2019. Don't know why it took me that long to see the video there. I tried it again in the summer and that was much better. The difference was between hairstylists. In 2018, I went to some person that I'm, I'm, I'm... In 2018, I went to some other hair salon and it was okay, but I felt like my hair was very flat and, um... Yeah, it was, yeah. And then I tried it again in 2019 with my current hairstylist and it just felt much better. But the thing is, I wasn't like full time committing to it. I liked it as a summer thing, like to have my hair out and stuff like that and it'd be a little bit easier to manage. But I didn't want to commit to it. It was, it was then, so those were the two treatments. It wasn't until the summer 2020 when I decided I'm going to try a year of back to back keratin treatments. So since, sorry. Since the summer of 2020, I've had four treatments. So we're now in October 2021. So since August 2020, I've had four treatments back to back to back. Now, I originally wanted to do my treatments three months apart, but because of COVID and restrictions, a lot of the hair salons were closed sometimes. So sometimes my dip times between my treatments would vary so at one point it was three months i think at one point it was like five months it was really it was just really sketching sketchy um timings i wasn't able to stick completely to that three month cycle okay have i experienced any fallout or damage breakage so i will say i've actually not experienced any hair falling out in this last year or in the two times i did before and i just wanted to talk about my history with my hair falling out I was doing like this was the real thing basically look you know just to cut the story in short previously since i was about um maybe 14 or so like if i get really stressed my hair will fall out and not like strands i'm talking like big clumps and i will have big bold patches in my head like i will wake up and my hair's on the pillow so i have dealt for a long time with my hair falling out so um I hoped actually that this treatment would help that in that it would give my hair enough protein so even if I was stressed that it wouldn't fall out. So, so far in this last year I actually haven't had any hair fall out, haven't woken up with any bold patches and we thank God and we hope it stays this way. In regards to damage or breakage, I would say no is a general. I have had heat damage this year. But I don't know if it's specifically the treatment. And what I'll say by that is, remember, as I was saying, like, the hair shops were closed for a little bit. So I had to wash my own hair. Remember, I was complaining about this on the channel, actually. And when I was what, doing my own hair at one point, I basically didn't have any um, heat protection. I was just moving mad and basically damaged the ends of my hair. I was really rough and so I was talking in the last video about the back of my hair, the ends of the back of my hair not being so um, strong and they had broken a little bit. I mean on camera it doesn't look bad now but we've managed to recover, my hair size has managed to recover the damage that I've done but I can't necessarily say that I think it was the treatment, I just think there was lots of factors going on there basically so you know that's and I'll let that be the last question as they the questions that I've just answered are like the most asked questions I usually get again and again. So I thought they were the best ones to address. I also want to say if you guys ever spend time in the comments, none of you do, um, I do have a lot of people sharing their experiences with getting keratin treatment. And um, some of the time it's not positive experiences that they've had. But I'm not somebody who goes in and deletes those things because I believe everyone's experiences are valid. And that when you are making this decision with your hair that you have a complete balanced opinion of every scenario you know because i'm not encouraging anyone here to go and get a keratin treatment i'm simply just speaking about my experience and what i've found i'm they are not paying me i'm not an ambassador so if it was rubbish and it was crap and my hair started falling out trust me honey i would i would come on the screen and say so it just hasn't been my experience thus far so therefore that's why i haven't said it you know but i do acknowledge and appreciate those people in the comments who have shared their negative experiences but a suggestion that i always try to give those people is um 
one please make sure you are going to a hairstylist that's actually trained in giving keratin treatments not someone who's reading the instructions in the bottle and can figure it out and can work it out someone who is actually trained in giving keratin treatments okay there is training so make sure they're trained uh, so that's why i'm saying mine's is my hairstylist is a specialist so I don't know if that's contributed to me having better results but that could be a thing and secondly as well guys make sure when you're booking the treatments ask the hairstylist what products they're using what brands they're using so that you can do the research for yourself as well okay so that you can read it and say okay no this has this in it and i'm not i don't like that this has formula hide and that's gonna break my hair like so just make sure you stay clued up and don't you know blindly or naively trust your hairstylist because sometimes not all but you know people are opportunists and they're gonna say whatever they want to say to get you to spend this money especially because it's an expensive treatment so they're gonna tell you everything under the sun and the rainbows and the candy floss and kitty la 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 to get you to get the treatment and that's why i will say make sure you ask them what is in the product ask them for the product name actually and then you do your research and say okay this is good for my hair that's not good for my hair blah 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 and unfortunately i've also seen horrible experiences where people have described that you know their hair has been natural and the hairstylist has snuck a keratin treatment into their hair and then their hair was permanently straight and then they've had to cut it off and and those kind of scenarios and those scenarios are actually not uncommon you know years ago when i was looking for a natural hairstylist salon I went to a hairstylist, I went to a hair shop um, in South London and they were apparently all for natural hair care and I was washing my hair, as I was getting my hair washed, the lady said to me, I've got this special conditioner that I can put in your hair and it will make it straight and I said, no thank you, I've got glossy natural hair, I want to wear my fro in peace, it was a cute little fro at that point, I was like, no, 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 I don't need that and she, she was so persistent, she's like, I can put it in for you, I can do this for you, it will be straight, it's so easy, just let me, just let me and I had to be really firm and say, no, 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 I don't want that, like, let's stop, basically and um, I, I basically never went back to that hair salon again because I thought it was strange that it was a hair salon that promoted afro hair, like proper natural 40 afro hair doing, um, what's the word? All the all the afro hairstyles sorry do you know what i mean all the natural girl hairstyles twist and lock wet lock twist and go maybe you, you know what i'm talking about so they did all those things but then as soon as when you change trying to convince me to have straight hair i thought it was weird energy read weird for me and so i was able to have consent to say no but obviously other people have been tricked and i will say for those situations i i don't i you know that is just completely like absolutely not because one thing is the keratin treatment isn't a conditioner so if you ever had anyone talk about a special conditioner to put in your hair it's not a conditioner the actual process is a four hour process because it's so there's so much going on oh, one day i guess i'll make a video about the actual process like no no i spoke about the process but i guess going to like a step by step but it's like a four hour process so it can't be a quick fix with a conditioner basically in the hair so um if you hear anyone talk about this special straightening conditioner please stay away and secondly if someone sneaks something into your hair while you're getting it washed and they then tell you it's a keratin treatment but then your hair is permanently straight I don't think that's a keratin treatment. I can't speak from my own experience, but I think they have done something else to your hair that they shouldn't have. And, um, you know, I'd seek legal advice if I was you guys. But yeah, so the point of the story, this long ramble, <laughs> this last bit, has just been, um, thanks to everyone who are sharing the experiences. Thank you for everyone that's coming in. Please continue to comment. Please continue to ask questions because I am active in the comments and I do reply. Thank you guys for making this journey of sharing what's going on with my hair easy in regards to like being able to provide all that information and as i said like i just do these videos not so that people can sway from one side to the next it's just so that you get a very honest update and opinion of what is going on and if you should get it and if you shouldn't get it and that's basically that um what i will give you is my signature hair fluff i always give you guys the hair fluff i don't know why <laughs> Not that you guys like it, but I think it's always great to show you guys the movement of the hair. Anyway.
say thank you so much for watching this video please make sure you subscribe you like and you comment and let me know what other information you'd like to see on the keratin treated hair Thank you.